What is going on guys, Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den located in Colmar, PA. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys some principles on how to strengthen whatever lift or muscle group that you are looking to increase. Come on, come on, yeah! yeah! All right guys, so like I said, I'm gonna get right to the point and give you guys some principles and things that I think about whenever I'm trying to strengthen a lift, okay? That could be for compound lifts, right? Squat, bench, deadlift, overhead press, or any specific lift that you wanna increase, as well as muscle groups. So if you're looking at more hypertrophy, could be biceps, triceps, shoulders, legs, calves, whatever. And the way I do this is there's just a couple of principles that we base this off of. I like to look at my programming as a whole and figure out what are the principles I can implement into this program. Maybe it's one, maybe it's two, maybe it's all of them, so that uh, it can help me achieve my goal. So let's get right to principle number one. Principle one is gonna be more volume. So right off the bat, say I want to increase my deadlift, okay? And I've been doing the same sets and reps for a certain period of time. Say it was working, it was working really well. All of a sudden we hit the plateau, we keep trying to do the same thing consistently and it no longer works. My first step that I'm gonna do is increase the volume of that lift. So maybe we were doing five by five. Well, maybe next week, I'm gonna switch it to six sets of five and increase that volume threshold a little bit. And I'll see if that, over time, gives me more progress, okay? So uh, same thing applies for a body part. Say you're doing uh, bicep curls and you're trying to increase the size. <laughs> bicep curls, of course I pick bicep curls. Uh, say you're doing curls, you want to increase the size of your biceps, you're doing three sets of 10 uh, throughout the week, and you've been getting good gains, and then maybe for whatever reason, the plateau hits, and you want to change it up, maybe we just increase that by an extra set, so we got four sets of 10, All right? Volume is going to be a great driver for hypertrophy, and more hypertrophy equals more size and increase the muscle, and therefore, more gains. So, give that a shot and see if that works by just increasing the volume. It could be that simple. Let's get right over to principle number two. Principle number two is one that I've talked about on the channel for a long time. So if you guys have been following the channel for whatever years, you can probably guess what that's gonna be. In fact, I'm gonna let you guess what I'm gonna say. If we wanted to increase a certain lift or grow the size of whatever muscle, what would be my tip for you? Start the clock. Well, if you guessed more frequency or increase the frequency, you are correct. Hands down, one of the biggest game changers for me when it came to progressing my lifts or increasing muscle size had been increasing the frequency. And this was kind of counterintuitive uh, for me at first because I was thinking about how to increase my deadlift. And I was like, there's no way that I can deadlift twice a week. You should only deadlift one time per week. But lo and behold, I wasn't getting gains or I hit a plateau doing a deadlift one time per week. And then once I started adding in more pulling patterns or more deadlift variations throughout the week, my deadlift started skyrocketing up. So if you guys are looking to increase the compound lift, I always suggest doing that lift more throughout the week. And that doesn't mean go from one time a week to three or four times per week. Start off with the, the bare minimal. So if you are deadlifting or pressing or benching or squatting one time per week, add in a second variation or do that lift again for a second time during the week. Do that until it no longer works, and then maybe you can even increase it to a third time per week. And there's different ways that we can manage our fatigue by using variations or load management strategies like using a belt versus no belt. So uh, throwing these in is a little bit more advanced, but I would just say bare minimal. Start with frequency as a, a primary principle uh, and increasing that frequency, and you will probably see some noticeable gains if you haven't already tried that. All right, so principle number three is something that I wanna say I've used throughout my training, but I wasn't as methodical with it as I am now, and that is eccentric training. So I kind of been doing some more research in this, and I actually have been uh, reading the book Triphasic Training by Cal Dietz, and I always like picking and choosing little variables or principles that other coaches have had good success with. Uh, now, do I think triphasic training is the end all be all? Probably not, but I do like the system of having different blocks prescribed with different structured goals. So maybe we have a block where we're training and we're really focusing on eccentric, uh, you know, load and tension and, and variations. So for me, uh, when it comes to getting stronger, specifically for the compound lifts, I've been throwing in more eccentric work uh, because that 
has just been proven by the research to really get you strong. Principle number four coming up on the end of this video is going to be the principle of working on weak areas. So I've talked about this before on the channel, but if I am increasing my frequency, say I'm benching twice a week, uh, what I like to do is have my normal bench variation. And then if I have another variation of the bench press or maybe some accessory work, I like that to be targeted to the weak areas in that lift or that movement. So for me, if it's bench press, it's gonna be triceps. Maybe I'm throwing in uh, more close grip bench press, or maybe I'm gonna be doing more skull crushers or uh, tricep work just to increase those weak muscles to help me with my overall lift, okay? So you can do that with whatever muscle group you have uh, for whatever lift, if it's your deadlift, maybe put in more hamstring work, low back work, whatever you gotta do, um, but just kind of figure out where's the breaking point, and then on the increased frequency, or even just increase the volume of that, that total targeted muscle, uh, you're gonna be better off that way, okay? So that's gonna be principle number four. Now the last principle before we end this video, kind of a no-brainer to me, and say you're, you're hitting off all these check marks on this list, okay? You're, you're, you're going through your volume, your frequency, you're doing the eccentric training, uh, you're working on your weak areas, and then you kind of hit the plateau. Well, what can we do? Well, to be honest with you, one of the most just in-your-face answers is increase your calories, okay? There is a nutritional component to this. If we've you know, done a really good job with our technique and our training principles, we periodize things correctly, and we kind of just hit a roadblock, well, guess what? Maybe you just need to put on some size. You need to put on some strength and some muscle. So by doing that, we need to fuel the body. So by adding calories, I'm not saying go gung-ho, you know, do the dirty bulk or anything like that, but increase your calories by, you know, five, 600 for that training day to give your body more fuel to train hard and recover so that we can make the gains that we want, okay? So don't dismiss the other variables outside of training like your nutrition, your sleep, recovery protocols, all that other good stuff. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. So hopefully this video helped. I've been liking doing these videos where I'm just sitting and talking with you guys, getting a little bit uh, in my brain of how I program or go about things. So you can use these five principles to help strengthen whatever lift you wanna strengthen or use the, these examples to help uh, increase whatever muscle groups you guys are looking to increase if you're into hypertrophy training. But it's like my checklist. So maybe you're doing a great job with some of these things, okay, like frequency or volume, and you really gotta work on targeting those weak areas a little bit more. Or maybe it's the calorie thing for you. You're doing everything right, but you're just not eating enough to fuel for the training and getting the gains that you want. Uh, so take what worked for you, put it in your training or program. Hopefully it helped. If you guys have other uh, tips or variables or principles, put them down in the comments section. Really appreciate it. And lastly, I always like to plug the training app that we just came out with. So uh, the Zap Strength training app is at zapstrength.programs.app. Uh, and I'm also doing a train with me program. So basically I'm gonna do my training for an entire year. You guys will follow along and be able to do what I do as programming and kind of all these principles I talk about will be implemented throughout that. So it's kind of just you guys being able to train alongside with Coach Joe and get all the gains that we get and have a lot of fun. But until then guys, stay lean, mean strength machine, and I'll see you next time. Peace.